All right, so what you're going to be doing is working with the wire. We got the wire today that's uh, going to be getting stripped off. And the object of today's assignment is to strip about a one-foot piece of wire completely bare with insulation off. And we talked about some things with the wire. How do they size the wire? What's some of the ways they size the wire? Aug. 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 American, American wire, wire gauge. gauge. What's the difference between this wire and this wire? One is solid. Yes, this one's solid, this one's stranded. And then the size of the wire, what's up with this one? Anybody know about the size of the one that you're stripping here? 14. 14. Number 14, whereas this one is number 8 or 6. Yeah, 6 or it's, uh, don't have a writing on it. But yeah, it's obviously bigger. So as the numbers go down, what happens to the wire size? It gets bigger and bigger. Okay, so what you're going to do is how you using, what are you using to tell you how much to strip off for the hooks? Wire the wire strippers, right? You could also use a pair of diagonal cutters, but let me see that single pole, single throw switch. So they got a single pole, single throw switch, and on the back of it is the strip gauge. So you'd line up the wire like this with the strip gauge to see how much to strip off, and roughly it's about a half inch, 5 sixteenths to about a half inch. Make sure that the appropriate hole, number 14, goes with the number wire size that we're using on this one, number 14 wire, and then just strip it off like that. And then you can either take a pair of dice or a pair of needle nose and grab the end of it like this and just make a hook. And you have to make 20 of these hooks. And the hook is to make sure that we have no insulation going underneath the screw and no bare wire sticking out past there. So once you do that, make sure that it hooks. Then you can go ahead and slice about a quarter inch below the insulation, right there like that, and you need 20 of those. On top of needing a piece of wire that is stripped completely all the way back, about a foot, eight inches to a foot piece of wire that is completely stripped back. All right, and the difficult part is not with the solid, but here's number 14, straight, solid, number 14, actually I think this is number 16, stranded and what they've done is they've just taken smaller conductors tied those together and when you tie them up together that becomes one solid piece now the stranded is really not to be used on the wire for connections we really you could take it like that and make a hook but chances of one of the strands popping out and touching against something else uh, and conducting electricity to ground is pretty big so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and i'll show you how to do the tinning the tinning at the tip of the wire whether it's going to be for a wire connector, so let's say we take the piece of stranded here and I'm going to cut it back about a quarter inch where I just got a quarter inch of the insulation there. And we can take this, make sure that it's not sticking out and there's no bare wire sticking underneath and no insulation up underneath the this terminal. And then we just crimp it down and it should be able to hold 60 pounds. Should be able to, so that's going to be the next thing. You're going to give me a little piece of that. And then the last thing is you're going to tin the end. So I don't like that. We're going to use uh, these dikes there a little better. All right, so we we'll take it like that. Make it almost like a straight piece. Get about a quarter inch left. And then you're going to just take it and put it up on the, heat it up, and take a little bit of the solder and tin the wire. So now that's almost like a solid piece. All right, and then if you want to take it even further, let's say you didn't have the crimping tool, you're going to remove try and remove no, that's not going to work that good. Let's see if we get a pair of needle nose in here. Remove the, the plastic from the connector and then take your tin piece and attach attach the terminal to it. And you might need a little bit more solder. Uh, she's falling off on me here. Use the needle nose to pick it up. And then we'll just fill a little bit in to make sure she gets in there. And then cool it down. And now we've attached it with the solder. Make sure the vent's running when you do it. Then cut that one off. Bring me your 20 hooks along with the crimped and the soldered and the tinned in, and we're good to go. Okay. 